In this video, we will solve another numerical on finding the equilibrium price and output. The question is like this. The demand function for a monopolist is given by that is Q is equal to 400 minus 2P where Q is the quantity and P is the price. And his average cost is given by 5 plus Q divided by 50 derive the equilibrium price and output. So we have to derive equilibrium price and output. Okay. For monopolist, as we know, the first order condition for profit maximization requires that our marginal revenue should be equal to marginal cost. Okay, so we will find first the marginal revenue and then marginal cost. We are given the demand function. Let us say Q is equal to 400 minus 2P. This is our demand function. First, we solve it for P. That is for price. This implies 2P is equal to 400 minus q this 2p is uh, transposed on lhs and this q to rhs or our p is equal to this two will get transposed and it will get uh, divided to each of these terms so this becomes 400 divided by 2 minus q divided by 2 or p is equal to 200 minus 0.5 q because 1 by 2 can be written as 0.5 now this is our inverse demand function our total revenue as we know is equal to price into quantity so price is this very function so we will write 200 minus 0.5 q and to this we multiply q okay so this comes out to be uh, 200 q minus 0.5 q square this is our total revenue now marginal revenue is simply the derivative of total revenue function that is dtr our dq with respect to quantity so the derivative of q is 1 we get here 200 minus derivative of q square is 2q so this is 0 0.5 into 2 q to the power 2 minus 1 by power function rule or we will get 200 minus 0.5 into 2 is equal to 1 so we will get here q and 2 minus 1 is 1 we don't write the exponent is 1 so we write q only here okay so this is our marginal revenue now what is our marginal cost we are given the average cost average cost is equal to 5 plus q divided by 50 now first we have to find the total cost now total cost is simply average sorry it is here ac average cost times quantity will give us the total cost now average cost is 5 plus Q divided by 50 and to this we multiply Q or this is 5 uh, 5 Q plus Q square divided by 50 which is equal to that means our total cost is equal to 5 Q plus Q square divided by 2 now what is marginal cost is simply the derivative of total cost with respect to quantity that is DTC divided by DQ now derivative of q is 1 so we get here 5 plus derivative of q square is 2q by power function rule so we will get 2q divided by 2 2 and 2 gets cancelled so we are left with 5 plus q this is our marginal cost now for uh, for profit maximization our marginal revenue should be equal to marginal cost our marginal revenue is this very function that is 200 minus q should be equal to now here we have obviously this 50 i get uh, i forgot to write this so here it is 50 so this will not get cancelled we have here 50 so this will become when 2 and 50 when cancelled we are left with 25 on the denominator so we have 5 plus q divided by 25 okay now transposing this 5 here so this is 200 minus 5 is equal to and transposing this minus q on rhs we are left with q uh, divided by 25 plus q or 195 is equal to 195 is equal to uh, 25 into cross multiplying plus q divided by 25 or 195 is equal to 25q plus q is equal to 26q divided by 25 
or Q is equal to 195 transposing 26 by 25 this will get reciprocated this will become 25 over 26 when solving this will come out to be 187.5 so our equilibrium output would be 187.5 now what would be our equilibrium price we just plug Q is equal to 187.5 in our inverse demand function here so our sorry this is our inverse demand function so our p is equal to 200 minus 0 0.5 the value of q is 187.5 and multiplying and subtracting uh, from 200 we get 106.25 as price okay i hope i make myself clear thank you